And you're very welcome. This is Fintan Dunn, and I'm here in the courtyard in Cork with... Uh, Anna Corrigan, the Tune Babies family group. Gertrude Caffey O'Brien, survivor of several institutions. Uh, Sheila O'Byrne of the Notorious St. Patrick's Mother and Baby Institution, Navanore, Cabra, Dublin. Anne O'Gorman of Bellsboro, and St. Patrick's. Thank you, Anne. And we're here to assist you now as you are going to present some evidence to Angarda Síochána here in Cork. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Too. And when I was 17 years of age, I went to Bessborough. Uh, a social worker introduced me there. And I had my baby in 1971 and um, she died, supposed to have died. Um, I was in in the labour ward when they asked for a assistant nurse. She was 70 years of age and uh, she came down mm. and twisted my stomach for the afterbirth to come out. Her nail prints was on my stomach when I woke up three days later. And um, then in 1975, I went to have my son and uh, when I asked, you know, when I told him that um, I had a baby there in 1971, mm -hmm. they had no record right. of me having the baby there, but they had a record of me being there. And then you're questioning the, uh, the death certificate therefore, because you've... Uh -huh. You never at any time signed uh, documentation that would f be the foundation for a death certificate, did you? No, no. And I yet there's a death certificate issued? There's a death certificate issued. The date of birth is wrong and the year is wrong. So you're so really I'm left in limbo, aren't you? I'm left until in limbo. you get. My mind. Yeah. Is not Terrific. The same well, that you're, it's great that you're taking this step today. Yeah. And I think. Um, it's wonderful that you also have support here today. So we'll, we'll go forthwith to Angarda Síochána here in Cork yeah. and we'll put this information before them. Okay. So now we're here at uh, the Garda Station here in Cork City. Yeah. Finally now, on the 13th of February, 2019, you're going to find out. I'm going to find out. I want to find out what happened to my baby Evelyn. I want to know now. Okay. Catherine Coffey, you're encouraged by what's happening here today now, are you? I am very encouraged. We were given no alternative. I'm here to support Anne, who's been left in limbo regarding her daughter Evelyn, whether she's dead or alive. We've been, as I said, we've been given no alternative. The concept of truth, the concept of investigating and transparency, we don't have that within the structure i.e. the commission and the forum that's in place. We don't have that and we have to find an alternative path to, to finding the truth and finding closure for the likes of Anne, whose baby we don't know, Evelyn, whether she's dead or alive. That's why we're here. Sheila, you must be very encouraged to see this happening today. I am. Uh, yeah. I am, really. And I'm so proud of Anne and O'Gorman coming here. Yeah. and. Uh, declaring her daughter Evelyn missing. Mm -hmm. After all, it's a flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. And I encourage other mothers to do the same. And follow up. And to follow up what Anne is doing today, yeah. which, is, um, which is very, very, uh, you know, encourageable for her to, uh, to come in here. Yeah, it's a great it's day. A, it's a great day, and I'm so proud of her. Yeah. For her looking with the courage to come in and find and hopefully they'll, they'll get the corrupt who did, who, who, who caused all this. Yeah, terrific. To, to Anne. Great day, Anna. Yes, great day. I'm delighted for Anne and I hope she gets answers on yeah. her little baby, Evelyn. Yeah. The truth, it's very important. Yeah. 
and I actually support her 100% because these are crimes and crimes have to be investigated and I have my brother's crimes reported since 2013, 2014 in relation to the Jim home and now Am is bringing the same crimes to the fore in relation to Besborough and I hope we all get the truth and answers but we will keep the pressure on. Mm. You feel we're not getting the truth through the systems in place right now? No. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, everything that is being stonewalled, uh, everything is uh, Chinese walls and uh, there is no truth. Mm -hmm. So people have, in a sense, to take this into their own hands now. Yes, and I reckon the legal recourse, um, you go find a solicitor, you go find a policeman, you go get these crimes sorted out, because we can't trust the people who are actually purported to be working in their interest, mm -hmm. i.e. the government, but they worked hand in hand with the church in the beginning to actually cause all this. Mm -hmm. So it seems a bit ironic that they're the people now who are purportedly going to help us out of this mire. I think, no, we've got a self-determination now, move on, legal, legal, uh, police, um, it, the laws of the lands were broken and uh, they have to be reported. And I hope Anne, uh, and I, I admire her strength today. So, Evelyn's now officially a missing person. A missing person. And I'm so happy that I've done this. Brilliant. I'm going to fight for her. One way or another, yeah. I want her back. How, how did you find that and, and how did you feel you were treated there? Very good. Yeah? Very good, yeah. Very sympathetically? Yes, very, yeah. Very, very good. good. Terrific. Very young. The guard was very sensitive. Si and he did tell us inside there that there was probably many before us mm -hmm. and possibly there'd be many after us coming in yeah. to, uh, to do a form, to apply a missing person's yeah. application. Also the fact being is that uh, we did explain to them, we were very transparent. We said to them inside to the guard that, that we wanted for our enclosure one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, that I, it wasn't fair that, and that I was left in limbo. We yeah. didn't hide anything from the guards. We didn't see the, the point of uh, eluding information. We told them everything um, so that we could have a, transpa a, a, a transparency, but also for Anne's benefit that we start as we mean to go on. As I said earlier, we have no alternative yeah. because we're not informed. So we don't get informed about a lot of stuff, mm. so we took it into our own hands now, and I'm extremely proud of you. Thanks yeah. very much. So what's the next uh, stages so in this then? Yeah, what's, what's the, the next, next stage? Steps? What are they going to be doing now? They are going, uh, the guard told us that, as I said, he was very sensitive, but he told us he's going to go to the detectives. Mm -hmm. They're going to get in contact with Anne, and they're going to do an in-depth um, statement because there's inaccuracies in Anne's records yes. and in the death certificate they're going to follow on through from there then and the, it's going to be step by step it's it's as we said as Anne said a while ago Evelyn is now recognized she's no longer uh, the baby she's Ev person. she's Evelyn O'Gorman and Anne O'Gorman her mother today is registered as missing Terrific. And uh, the uncertainty which has played you, you're now moving towards getting some closure Sim. on this final. I am, and I'm yeah. so happy yeah. about it. You know, I have a smile on my face now. <laughs> Good. And I'm going to keep on smiling Good. and fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. A red letter day for those who have campaigned for so many years for truth and justice finally coming here to Cork to get it. I'll be back with more on the story of Anne and how that search for the truth of her daughter Evelyn progresses. And uh, I'll be back soon with that. I hope you can join me for that. But in the meantime, this has been Fintan Dunn reporting.